Hello guys, this is Nirvan 20. So today we'll talk about network security practicals for BSC IT 5th SEM. So in this you have your practical as first it starts with CSI cipher, then we have modified version of it, uh, then we have monoalphabetic and then we have transposition ciphers in which we have rail fence, multi columna, multicolumnar, you have list of things here and then you have Defi Hellman, DES, then we'll go for AES, RSA, RC4 and Blowfish. So in the current video we'll talk about CSI cipher and modified one. Uh, remaining part you will see in next consecutive uh, videos. So let's start with the first one. In this, uh, this is my uh, this is NetBeans IDE I'm working on. Uh, you can use any version of IDE. So above six, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then uh, the first step is you have to create a project like this project, a desktop application, and then uh, let's create a new file. So I click new Java class. And we'll name this class just, just a minute. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, so we'll name this class as we'll name this class as Caesar Cipher. Okay. Okay. Now, what is Caesar Cipher? It's like if you have a text like let me remove this. Okay. So let's imagine uh, what is Caesar Cipher now. Let's suppose you have a string called as A B C. Now this CSI cipher means you have to convert this ABC plain text into a cipher text which will be a increment of 3 to the each character. Now what I mean is you have to take this A, you have to increment this A with 3 characters which means the output will be D because it's after A we have B, C and it will be D. Then after for this B it should be E and for this C it should be F right so this is what we have to do so this is your plain text and this should be your cipher text and for this there are certain steps to follow the first thing we'll do is we'll create a, a main function so we'll say psvm tab it will give you a main function I think I should increase the font size for you guys okay, it's font I think it should make it 18 that's my problem so it's 18 pound now okay so what we'll do now we'll take first first task if we have to take a plain a plain text so what we'll do we say uh, plain text as pt and we'll take plain text as abc for demo pur purpose we are taking the uh, text as abc you can have any text here next what we want is after conversion we'll be getting a cipher text time bin it is unknown because we have to calculate the cipher text then we require a key. Now what key means is in CS cipher your key is 3. That means you have to add each character with uh, with 3. Which means the output you will be getting is A plus 3 as D. Okay. Now the next thing next thing you need is we'll we'll just uh, we'll just say we'll say CT. We want to find the value of CT now. So we'll define a method called as do encrypt. So what this method will do is, it will do my job of encryption, okay. Now the thing you have to pass is, first you have to pass your plain text and then you will pass the key value or time bin will go for this uh, plain text as we'll send pt directly. So what we want, we want to do the encryption with this pt. So let's remove this k value for simplicity, let me make the things very clear for you or simple for you. Okay, so once you once you define, once you call this do encrypt method, which is a user defined method, which means we have to create this method now. But let's assume we have a method. So after that, you will be getting an output, and that output will be CT. So let's just print this CT. Simple, right? Now our task is to to create this method called as do encrypt, and to do that, what we'll do is we'll define a method. Now that method should be static, right? It's because we are not using any object here. So we'll say a static method which will return a string value and the name of the method is do encrypt okay and this will take a string parameter as pt now what we'll do next is it will just okay now to do all these operations we have to take one one character right so we have to fetch e one one character for that we'll take a variable which is of cat format as c then uh, then what we'll do is we have to take one one character now right we have to replace this string 
we have to replace this string or this string uh, pt which is now abc we have to replace with the new values for that we have to convert this into a string buffer so what we'll do is we'll use string buffer because string buffers allow you to, to change, change the string because it is mutable as you know string uh, string class is immutable so we'll go for string buffer so it's string buffer okay and the values for the string buffer should be pt that means now this pt now with this pt is stored in sp now we have to we have to start with the first value like we have to change this string to the new string right that means we have to take one one character and change it and to go for one one character we require a for loop so we'll say int we'll say i equal to zero because normally string index will start with zero and we have to finish till the length of the uh, string right so if your string is three characters it should stop at two and then i plus plus now what next we'll do is we'll take that uh, we'll take that character or anything any value like example in this pt what we have is we have we have stored abc so we'll take this a and we'll do some operations see ultimately what you have to do is we have to add a 3 to this a now unfortunately we direct we cannot directly add 3 to this a so what we'll do we'll we'll save that a in a number format and for that we'll take a variable called as num so let's define the variable as num and we'll say uh, num is equal to now now what we i want this a should be converted into its ascii value right now to convert a, uh, a number a character into ascii value it's very simple right if you write if you write in single quote it's a right so in this num what you'll be getting stored is 65 so value of a is 65 now what I want, if your value is A, it should store 65. So instead of that, what we'll do, we'll say A minus 65. That means in this num now, it will store 0. Now, how do I know that the PT, uh, PT first character is A? It's just, instead of writing this, what we'll say is, we'll say SB, give me the character at index 0. So 0 means I will get A. I don't uh, see as the loop progresses ultimately the value of i will change that means we have to shift from a then we have to shift to b then we have to shift to c and for that we'll simply specify here i now i don't want a value 65 i want a value 0 so we'll say 65 minus 0 now why 65 it's because capital a is 65 right and then we'll add this num with three because we wanted the increment should be of three right so we'll say num three and then now what next now what if i say if your a value is 65 your your z value will be 92 right so or 91 so your z value will be 91 so if let's suppose your uh, your string is not abc if it is uh, uh let's go with abc let's with let's do with this first and then we'll see what we'll see with or, uh, if questions so what we'll do we'll save this value in c now now how to get the c value we can directly say it's num plus 65 now what we are doing here is if you got a so if you say a minus 65 the num value will be 0 and then you will add yeah we will add this num plus 3 which means it will be uh, which means it will be 3 and then that 3 plus 65 will be 68 and this the 68 character is d so ultimately in c variable you'll be having a value d but this num plus 65 will give you integer value what i want is character value so i have to cast it with character simple right okay okay so what we'll do we'll cast it with character and then we have to replace this value of a as d so for that we'll say sb dot set char at i and we'll save the new value as c simple right and after the whole for loop what we'll do we'll return this cd uh -oh, not cd we'll run your sb and for that to return sb 
Now the problem with SB is it is a string buffer, right? And the, you, you require string, so that means you have to convert this string buffer into string. And to do that, what we'll do, we'll define a new method, new object called a string, in which we'll pass SB. Simple, that's it. You know, if you run this code now, you should get some output now. So if you run this file, and the output is DEF as we needed, right? So A plus 3 is D, B plus 3 is E, and C plus uh, 3 is F. What if I take my name? It's if Navin. Let me run this code. And yeah, so this is my uh, this is my name for my uh, cipher text. So, so this is this is how it works, right? It's very simple. But what if uh, if I make this as um, x, y, z? Okay, so what should be the output, right? What we want is after x, it should be y, z, a, right? So this a should be x should be a, this y should be b, and z should be c, right? So output we are expecting is a, b, c. But when we run this file, unfortunately, this is the output. It's because the ASCII value for z is 91. And when you say 91 plus 3, it becomes 94. And then uh, the character for 94 is this. So what we want is, once it cross 91, so once the value of your string goes beyond 91, you have to come back to 0. And for that, we'll do some, up, we'll do some checking here. So we'll say if your num is greater than, uh, greater than or equal to 26, so in that case, what we'll do is we'll say num equal to num minus 26. So it will, if your value exceeds 26, we have to go back to zero. Okay. Now if I run this file, so this is your desired output, right? Okay. Now do, let's do let's let's go for decryption. So this was your encryption, right? So what if 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 you want to decrypt it? For that, uh, we'll say. We'll say again pt equal to do decrypt in bracket if I pass ct and then let me, let me print the value of pt. So the output I'm expecting from pt again is xyz, right? So it should print xyz. But first we have to define this method as do decrypt. So we'll go down and we'll say static string uh, do decrypt. And this again will take a pt as parameter. Oh, no, this time city. We'll say string city. Uh oh, a string city. Now, so in case, in order to do that, what we'll do is instead of instead of doing all these operations, what we can simply do is what if I, if I return directly do encrypt? Because do encrypt will give you positive values, right? But what if I pass city? And we'll pass uh, one more character as 26 minus key. Let me show you the magic. What if I take here int key, uh, it's key, and let me pass key values as 3 and 3, right? And then, 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 here also let me accept the key value. So instead of this 3, what we'll say, we'll say key value, right? So what I'm doing is I'm adding one more parameter to each and every method as int key. Now if I pass 26 minus key, so it will go back to my previous value. Let me show you the output first. See, my, this is my cipher text and this is my original text. So if you pass 26 minus key, it will do the same operation in reverse order. That's what we wanted, right? So this is called as decryption. Now, so this was your cipher, uh, CR cipher, right? Very simple. But what if uh, it's it's very easy, right? Because you're directly going for a value three, which means it's very easy for a hacker to decrypt this value. So for that, what we can do is we can directly take uh, we can we can do some we can use some modified version of CR cipher in which the key value will be anything between one to twenty five. For that, what we'll do is we'll take int key value. Uh, it will be 3 by default so here instead of passing 3 we will pass key which means the same 
But what if we want to go for modified version in which 3 is not valued, the value can range from 1 to 25, right? And for that what we can do is, instead of specifying this value, we'll take input from user, right? So we can take input from user and for that we'll say, to, to do that we have required buffer reader. So we'll say buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader. Now I hope you know how to use buffer reader. In case if you don't know the don't know how to use buffer reader, so search for my video on user input in my channel. Uh, so it's new input input stream. It's input stream reader and in bracket what you have to say you have to pass is system dot n now since we are using buffer reader we have to say throws exception because this is checked exception so we have to say throws exception and we have to import the package to import the package just click here and say import then you have to import this one also we'll say this one import okay then instead of taking value from this we'll take input from user so we'll say we'll ask user to print uh, enter key value and then user will enter value using buffer uh, br dot read line so we can take input from user using br dot read line but br dot read line will give you string value so we have to convert into integer format so we'll say pass int simple right so now uh, now if i run this yeah, it's asking for a key value now instead of going for three what we can pass is if we pass uh, uh oh just hold on okay let me run it again i did some mistake okay if i pass five you can see i'm getting a a, a, a cipher text as cde right now what if I take uh, user input or plain text from user? So again we have to use buffer reader in this case. So what we'll do is instead of this we'll say read line. So using this you can take input from user now. So this is waiting for my input and we'll say Navin enter it was asking a key value and simply say six enter. So you can see this is my cipher text using a key value as 6. So this was your CSI cipher and modify CSI cipher. This is your first and second sub part of the practical. So thank you so much for this watching this video. Do subscribe for the further videos.